Hi, my name is Jeff Ricks. I'm the owner and operator of Termin Games, and I'm here to talk to you about the Commander 2018 product that's coming out. I have two boxes from two different distributors here. Uh, here's distributor one and here's distributor A. Uh, they look pretty similar. Uh, they've got the same dates, same numbers, same everything. We're just going to open up, see if there's anything different. I don't know. My conspiracy theory going into this was that the uh, there was going to be reserve list cards in these here boxes. And uh, based upon what we've seen so far, it appears that it'd be that's not the case. But let's see if we can be lucky and, and open up some reserve list cards. Probably not. Anyway, I'm super excited about this product. There's a bunch of cool stuff coming out. Uh, I'm actually building like a legacy deck surrounding one of these uh, Planeswalkers. Uh, bonus points if you can guess beforehand, which you, there's no way for me to know if you actually did or not. So you just have to log those in your head and keep track independently. All right, but uh, yeah, let's uh, go ahead and open these up and see what's, what's going on. All right, so like all the tape is the same because Wizards of the Coast is very good and using the same tape. Uh, no repacks here. All right, here's artifacts and artifacts. Uh, this came out of that box, so we'll do that. The Esper Top of Deck Matters. Esper Top of Deck Matters. They both, everything looks insane. It's all coming out of the box. The Jund Landex. Again, looking pretty similar. And the Bant Enchantress decks, which are almost obviously going to be clearly be the same. Uh, so what we're going to do here is uh, I'm going to open up the two Jun Lands decks. So I can talk about the Jun Land deck and why it's good because a lot of people hate on that deck and, and they're wrong. I mean, you, you cannot like the deck, but you gotta. We'll talk about like the concept and the core conceits of land and like what land decks are trying to do. Uh, again, this is the one from uh, Distributor A and Distributor 1. I don't know if you know it or not, but I like to have commander decks for people to play in the store, and uh, I also am a person who uh, likes to play Magic the Gathering, so I try to open one up for myself. I'm very excited about the land deck. Um, this card is actually recently discovered, like half an hour ago. It's better than I thought it was. I thought I was going to have to aim the other bigger stuff with my lands into play, but it come, turns out they come into play untapped anyway. Who knew? Uh, so, if we look at Lord Wind Grace, uh, this is a magic card. He's a planeswalker. He draws you cards. He puts lands into play. He blows stuff up. Uh, he is very much a lands commander. And if you have looked at like legacy lands, and this has been a potentially a thing that you've wanted to do, or you've played like four color loan lists, uh, like you know that lands are not about. Or uh, there's, if you've also played like Punishing Maverick. Legacy, that's another one. You know that lands decks are not about what it is that you do all at once. Lands decks are about grinding value. Uh, and so, what this card does, it lets you grind value. You get to play more lands so you can ensure you make your land drops, but you also get to discard cards so that you can ensure that you'll, like, your extra lands are turned into value. And you take those lands that you discard and you play them from your graveyard anyway. Uh, it's really, it's really pretty fantastic. Uh, there are some other, like the alternate commanders in here, are pretty cool, sweet as well. Uh, I don't know, I'm just here to play Jund Ram. But, uh, if I, like if these videos are successful, I might even do some deck techs on other stuff. Because I like ruining and playing magic and doing, doing weird stuff. Uh, but yeah. Alright, so if we open up this one with the handy dandy convenient tag that they give us. Uh, it's got the commanders on top, which is good because in the past the alternate commanders were like buried in the middle of your stack of cards. They're like, oh my gosh, where are all these cards? What do I even do? And it also comes with your double sided tokens which is more important than you would think. Uh, keep track of your tokens. Don't just leave them on my table. You're gonna need them eventually. All right, so it looks like we've got, uh, from Distributor A, we've got some uncommons uh, and some other stuff. It looks like we're moving to reprints and whatnot, commons, uncommons. There's a, 
there's some there's some cards that have some meaning here for for me as a person. So when I first was playing competitive magic, I played uh, four color ally war, and uh, let me tell you, you played Bale of Woodcrasher and this hero, not this hero, but hero. You can call me a hard expedition. And it was incredible. It was amazing. And like, there's also some pretty good cards in here, like Putrefy. Like, you're playing if you're playing green black, play Putrefy. Don't not play Putrefy. Uh, it answers creatures, it answers artifacts, it does all the things that you want it to do. Uh, for this particular deck, uh, it's mostly enchantments that are a problem, so you're going to want to be able to play cards that eat up rest in pieces and leyline of the voids, because you want to play out of your graveyard, and if you can't have a graveyard, you can't play out of your graveyard. It's a problem. But yeah, so it looks like these cards, I don't know, they've got the... They don't, they've got like the old, like the Commander Anthology feel. They don't necessarily feel like Core 19. Uh, I don't know. They smell mostly like magic cards, but like maybe like a magic cards you found in a gas station. Like not, or like a mechanic shop. They're like, they're so in good condition that there's nothing wrong with them, but like they just hung out next to oil. And that's, that might be part of the new printing process. They, they still feel good. They still feel feel like magic cards, uh, and like, they definitely are magic cards coming to you. You got your lands, uh, I haven't actually looked at the land bases, but the land bases, historically, they're pretty good. Hey, it comes with Bajooka Bog, excellent. This land base is not nearly as bad as it could be. People talk crap about land bases and stuff, but they do alright, they do alright. Alright, all so, like, this is, this is the one deck, no reserve list cards. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry to report. Jank garbage, and cards that I want to be good, but I don't know how to make them good. Cards that I know that are good, I know how to make good. Some light petrol smell. So that's what we've got at a, at a, at a distributor A. Uh, Alright, distributor B. Anybody distributor B, I mean distributor 1, because they're both equal. Comments in the comments below about how great you think this is. If you think it's great. You should think it's great. I'm beautiful. Now, the reason that I thought that potentially they were going to print reserve list cards in these decks is because there was a lot of, there was a lot of like secret influences. So you can see that they, like the spoiler seasons, uh, were different in a couple of places. And so like it said that the spoiler season was going to end. August 3rd, but what it turned out was we got all the spoilers by uh, July 31st. And it was like, aha! And then like, people were like, ah! Everyone was disappointed in canceling pre-orders and stuff. It was like, aha! And it has to be on purpose. Uh, same deal with the cards that we like, like the commander cards, which is always what people are most excited about. Um, and it looks like these cards are largely the same. <laughs> Stitched together six line? Yeah, alright. So they're it looks like they're in the same order. Uh, which is not terribly surprising. Uh, I originally intended to film this video like when I got both of the decks Thursday night. And I've just been swamped all day, every day, for like the last week, which has been great. It means I've been busy. Uh, but it also means I've been too tired to film YouTube videos. Uh, things you should comment in the uh, in the comments below. What do I replace soul rings with in these decks? Because if you know anything about Jeff Ricks and you know anything about tournament games, uh, you know that both of those people, mostly because they're the same person, think that card should be banned. Hashtag ban soul ring. Yeah, there's Zantia. Uh, I really wish Xantia was Junt. I want to play Junt Ramp with Xantia and just murder people. I can't do that though, because she's black red. Yep. Uh, hey, Rampaging Baylos. That This is a card, man, it's been reprinted a lot. I still like it though. I, I still like it. This has been a fan favorite of mine. They smell a little bit different. They smell a little bit like something like a gas station that you would find inside of a national park. They smell a little woodsy. It's still a little bit petrol, but like, 
maybe like an abandoned gas station, like one of the old uh, Conoco's in Yellowstone that they don't operate anymore, but they like it doesn't make any sense to tear down the buildings. All right. These decks actually look pretty playable, like out of the box. Like, you got some stuff, like, and obviously there's always upgrades. Like, uh, out of Core 2019, you got Scape Shift and you got Crucible Worlds. And, like, man, I'm, I plan on discarding a bunch of lands. I mean, wonder what I should do with all these lands that I'm discarding. Well, I could be if you just play them. Out of your graveyard, using something like that. 375 for one or three for ten dollars at your local tournament game. That's my, that's my that's my little advertising spiel. Uh, it doesn't look like it suffers from the same problem that the uh, the, the cat dead de cat deck did in uh, 2017, where like like the first upgrade that you can make to the cat deck was you just take out like 14 lands and put in 14 basics because like that deck has so much like, basic ramp and you just like I once ramped for like 12 basic lands and it was like oh there's only 12 basic lands in the entire deck and I've already played them all. Garbage. This is very frustrating for some time, for sometimes. Uh, but yeah, there's there are some upgrades definitely that you can make with this list. Uh, big ones are probably going to be like Life from the Loam. So for some upgrades that you can make that are a little bit on the cheaper side, you can pick up like a Ramadap Excavator. And that's honestly for this deck is probably what I'm going to put in for Soaring. Uh, just because those are play lines from our graveyard, and this deck is going to be capable of dumping heaping piles of garbage into your graveyard. Uh, which is pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, there's a lot of people that play graveyard based strategies here in Commander, and this is probably going to be another deck of multitudes doing so. People talk crap about Runa's Path. Let me tell you what. Runa's Path murders Planeswalkers. Like, it literally says, murder, that you can cast on Planeswalker. I don't know, murder's instant in this sorcery. I don't care. I'm an American citizen. I can do what I want. Now, the deck comes with Bajuga Bog. Which is good. You want you want Bajuka Bob. Putting cards in people's graveyards and uh, then you're removing them because you're removing their graveyards. Always play graveyard eight. Don't not play graveyard eight. Don't do that. Ooh, it comes with two bad fetches. For upgrades, you could look at four color loneless, but obviously you can't play four colors because Jund is uh, green, black, red. And so you can't play neither relic berries. It's basically neither relic berry that you lose. Uh, but you get to play all like the Lone, Punishing Fire, Grove of the Burn Willows, Dried Arbor, Desecrated Tomb, Pocus Pocus. That makes that deck great. You just grind value for days. Grind value. Talking about cards that grind value. All of them. All these cards grind value. Probably. I don't know. We'll find out. I, I, like, I'm definitely super excited about playing this deck immediately with. Fancy cards, and uh, I might do like a sweet deck tech with that. If I don't know, do you want to see me do a sweet deck tech with a pile of like reserveless hot garbage? Like I don't know. I wanna I wanna play Multani with Diamond Valley. Let me know if I should do that. Like I'm gonna do it one way or the other. Let me know if you want me to see that get happen. Play Wraths. Too many people don't play Wraths, and like it doesn't have to say like Wrath of God. Or, or damnation. And you, it can just be. Can I say damnation on YouTube? Yes. Like, this, this card says chain reaction. It doesn't say destroy all creatures, but it does say destroy all creatures. It just uses more words. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate it a lot. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see in the comments. If you want to see things like this where I open up boxes, I probably won't do a whole lot of like distributor compare and contrast because that doesn't really matter to a lot of people. Uh, but just let me talk about decks and rant and rave about like magic from the past and like things that are nostalgic for me. Uh, if you want me to see me do deck techs on like either the pre-constructed decks or like t take a commander out of these decks and build a deck around that, I would love to do that. Uh, just let me know. If you'd like to see us like play games in the store and just film people playing games similar to some of the other things that are going on like that, we can do that. We can make time. Uh, I've got a whole store and time, and I want to make content. Uh, but I need you to tell me what kind of content you need so that I can make that. Uh, overall, I'm super excited about this release. Uh, it's got a bunch of cool cards in it. Uh, some of the cards look very fun to play with. This is very hype. Uh, and I think you should too. 
Like the Commander decks, if you're invested in Magic and King the Commander, are super solid products, and you should just pick up your whatever amount of number of boxes come out this year's score. You just pick them up, pay your MSRP, get your $80 of cards, and even if you don't want to play the cards, you're gonna turn that into trades. Like, remember, it's called a trading card game, so if you don't want some of the cards, you can, you can turn them into other cards, whatever you do want. Anyway, have a good night. I'm gonna go sleep. It's late. I'm excited to be here talking to you, and I'm excited to build Lord One Grace. All right, so I'm gonna take this opportunity while I got things all spread out. You're gonna see there's a lot of basic lands. That's okay, play basic lands. Like, they're good. Basic lands are not bad. Play basic lands. Uh, if you're looking for cheaper options for things, uh, Ram and Ab Excavator was uh, printed in Gauntlet. Okay. I'll go, I'm gonna go turn that off. <laughs> Let this be a note to, uh, to you guys that are filming videos late at night. Make sure to turn off your gauntlet. Yeah. This is going to be terrible for my life to edit and post. <laughs>